Hello everyone, welcome to the channel of Virtual Learning Hub. I am Devdi Bhattacharya and today we will understand about some method of cost of capital. So in previous video I was discussed about the introduction of cost of capital and what is cost of capital, what is cost of equity and what is cost of debt. Now there is several method of cost of equity. We can calculate cost of equity by several methods as number one is historical rate of return method second is dividend price ratio method So for calculating cost of equity there is six methods like historical rate of return method, dividend price ratio method, dividend growth model method, price ratio method, earning growth model method, capital asset pricing method and last but not the least bond yield plus risk premium method. So in today's video we will understand about what is historical rate of return method and we will calculate cost of equity by the method of historical rate of return. Now there is a formula for calculating KE in the method of historical rate of return. But before writing the formula, we will understand this numerical problem. So a farm, so a farm purchased Fifty equity share at the rate of fifty each.
which is rupees six. So we got the dividend value, dividend partial value is six. Now what is the value of now what is the price of share that is ready for sale which is 90 rupees so 90 and what is the old price which is 50 rupees this is the price increasing which is 90 minus 50 old, new value minus old value so 40 rupees is increasing for how much years for 5 years so by 5 now this, this combination is comparing with the value of equity share purchased as 50 rupees in percentage so after calculating this we will get the cost of equity so in formula we can write dividend is as d dividend per share plus so new price of the share as p1 minus old price of the equity share p0 by the number of years as as n is whole by the old value of share as p1 into 100 so dividend plus the price increasing for the equity share for how many years divided by this year is comparing this this whole combination is comparing with the old value of share this is why the method is called historical that the base value is old the price of the share is old as 50 rupees per share so this is why the method is called historical rate of return method after calculating this we will get 0.28 which is 28 percent so I simply describe what is historical rate of return method and how you can calculate without writing the formula just imagine this image and you can understand and you can easily calculate the question thank you